What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next question. We have to confirm that the quadrilateral that has these four vertices, so A is at negative three and zero, B is at negative five and seven, C is at three and five, and D is at five, negative two, that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So to do a quick review, just to show you visually what we're gonna do, a parallelogram, if you remember, the way we show that something is a parallelogram is by showing that the two pairs of sides are parallel. So that this side and this side are parallel, okay, so that they have the same slope. And then these two sides are parallel. These two sides have the same slope. And then that's all you have to do. As long as these two sides have the same slope, as long as they're parallel, as long as these two sides have the same slope, as long as they're parallel, then you prove that it's that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Another thing I wanna mention is that when you're labeling quadrilaterals with certain coordinates, you always wanna make sure that you go in order either clockwise or counterclockwise. So personally, what I usually do is I start at the bottom left, so in this case, we have A, but sometimes you'll see different letters. I start with the lowest letter. In this case, it's A, and then we'll have B, C, and D. So I'm going clockwise. You could also do A, B, C, and D like that. I prefer to go clockwise versus counterclockwise. And you always wanna make sure it's in order this way. So you don't wanna do like A, B, C, D like that. That's not how you wanna label these. You always wanna label it like this. Okay, so from here, let's put the points, negative three, zero, we got negative five and seven, then we have three and five, and then we have uh, five, negative two. And then once you have a diagram like this, what do we have to show? We have to show that side AB is parallel to side CD, and then we have to show that side BC is parallel to side AD. Right? And if we could show those two things, then we confirm it's a parallelogram. That's how we confirm it. So let's go through these one by one. So let's find the, first off, what is the slope formula? Just as a quick review, it's y2 minus y1, rise over run over x2 minus uh, x1 like that. Okay, so let's start off with finding the slope of line A, B. So let's label these points. I'm gonna label this X1, Y1. I'll label this X2, Y2, like that. So we'll have Y2, which is seven, minus Y1, which is zero, over X2, which is negative five, minus x1, which is negative three. So you wanna put that in brackets. So we'd end up with seven over negative five plus three. These two negatives turn into a positive would give you negative two. So negative seven over two is the slope. So let's keep track of these down here. So this slope here is negative seven over two. Now let's find the slope of C and D. So let's label these points. This would be X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Doesn't matter, you could label this X2, Y2, this X1, Y1, you'll get the same result. So we'll have Y2 minus Y1, so we'll have negative two minus five over five minus three, like that. And what do we get here? We get negative seven over two. So we get the same slope for CD. So the slope of AB and the slope of CD is the exact same. All right, so we're halfway done in confirming that this is a parallelogram. And then we have to find the slope of Let's write it over here. 
we've got to now find the slope of um, BC right here. And these are already labeled x1, y1, x2, y2. So we'll have y2, 7, minus y1, which is 5, over x2, which is negative 5, minus x1, which is 3, like that. Okay, 7 minus 5, negative 5 minus 3. This gives us 2. Negative 5 minus 3 gives us negative 8. And then this simplifies to negative 1 over 4. So the slope of BC is negative 1 over 4. And then finally, the slope of AD. Again, we labeled those points already as x1, y1, x2, y2. So we would do y2, which is negative 2, minus 0 over um, x2, which is 5, minus x1, which is negative 3, like that. Okay, so from here we'd have negative 2 over 5 minus negative 3 is the same as 5 plus 3, which gives us 8, which gives us negative 1 over 4. And that's it. We pretty much confirmed it with those four calculations. So this side, this side are parallel because the slopes are the same. This side, this side are parallel because the slopes are the same. Now, if you wanted to show that, for example, Let's say that it's a rectangle. Well, you'd have to do these same calculations. You'd have to find these slopes, but then you'd have to further check whether these slopes are negative reciprocals of one another because with a rectangle or a square, right, there's a 90 degrees right there. In this case, these are not negative reciprocals of one another, so we know this is not a rectangle. It's a parallelogram. A rectangle is actually just a specific case. Of a parallelogram. Okay, but just giving you a heads up that if you were to show that it's a rectangle, you would do the exact same thing, but then you'd also have to show that these slopes are negative reciprocal.